Hi everyone, it's Linnea, and today the Thermal Web team and the Gina K Designs team is celebrating the new Gina K Designs release. She's released two new stamp and stencil systems and two new colors of the Glitz Glitter Gels. So we are bonding together the Thermal Web team and the Gina K Designs team, and we are all participating in a huge blog hop to celebrate this release. So make sure you head over to my blog after you watch this video. I'll leave a link down in the description below because there are gift cards up for grabs. So you'll want to head over to my blog to enter to win one of gift cards from ThermalWeb and another from Gina K Designs. So I am using the Holiday Stamp and Stencil and um, this whole set comes with, there's a stamp set, there's a stencil, and then there are coordinating dies too. So I had these off-white, like eggshell white colored tags in my stash, and it might seem a little early for holiday tags, but it's time for me to get started. I have a, such a busy life, and so I start with my holiday cards all through the summer and really all through the year I will start making them. So I sprayed the back of my stencil with some pixie spray, laid that down onto my tag, and I added some purple tape on the right there, but you really didn't need to. I was doing it to mask off the other designs, but my tag is small enough that those designs don't overlay onto my tag. So the purple tape really is unnecessary in this project, but you're going to see me do it again later <laughs> just because it's habit to mask off the stencil. So I sprayed it with pixie spray, laid it down on my tag, and then I used a stencil pal and some of the white Gina K Designs Glitz Glitter Gel and stenciled those snowflakes all over my tags. And I'm doing five of them. And throughout this whole project, I didn't respray the back of my stencil at all. I was able to stencil all five of those little snowflake backgrounds without having to reapply my pixie spray and you're going to see me use it again 10 more times. So that's a total of 15 times that I use the stencil without having to respray. I love the pixie spray because it holds tight and you can keep going with your projects. So once I had all of my snowflakes stenciled on, I die cut some of the ornaments from some heavy white cardstock and one of the ornaments I die cut right from the center of a piece of cardstock. Don't worry, I'm not going to waste that. I will have another video for you tomorrow showing you how I use that, uh, the white card base piece. But basically what I wanted was to form a, um, oh, I can't think of the word, like a little template for my stamping. So I was able to die cut five of the little ornament shapes and just pop them into place there in the middle of my template. And I could just line up the stamp over that die cut piece and then put in one of the ornaments, stamp, and then remove it, put in another one, and stamp again. Really easy assembly line style for these five tags. They didn't take me hardly any time to make because even here I'm gonna use the Glitz Glitter Gel again and this time I'm gonna use the gold but because I'm putting on a thin application, which is really easy to do using the stencil pal, you can easily pick out a little bit of that glitter gel, scrape it across, and get an even thin layer. So it really only took probably about 15 minutes for this to dry. And as I was stenciling and stamping, I was doing some other projects around the house. Like I'd go sweep my kitchen, come back, and the gold glitz would be dry, and I could move on. So... I have my biggest tip for when you're mass producing something, whether it be cards, tags, any kind of project, is to keep it simple and do it assembly line style. So to start with, I stenciled all of my tags and then I stamped all of my little ornaments here and now I'm going through and adding the decorations all together. And you can see me here again, I'm not respraying the back of my stencil. It was so easy to just peel off my paper and then add it back over the top again. So here are my tags, all nice and dry, and I love that tone-on-tone -tone look. My tags are slightly off-white, so it really helps the white glitter gel shine and just kind of pop, but in a subtle way. So this um, stamp set has a bunch of different sentiments, and I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I kind of set that aside, and I started working on the rest of the stenciling here. 
So once the gold glitter gel was dry, I came back in with the white glitz glitter gel and I'm just adding a little bit more of a decoration. And you're gonna see me here again, I'm not respraying the stencil. So a total of 15 times I was able to peel this off and stick it back onto another piece of my project. And the back of my stencil is still sticky. That's so awesome about the pixie spray. So now I have all my pieces dry and I ended up that I couldn't decide which sentiment to use. So I just stamped most of, the, three out of the four of them, I stamped onto white cardstock, heat embossed with gold embossing powder. And then I used my scissors to trim around those sentiments to make it look like they were die cut. And then I'm going to be using some of the Gina K Designs white foam squares at the backs of all of my little pieces, all the little ornaments and all of the little sentiments. So I could just trim these down in half or in thirds if I needed to to get them into the little bitty spots on the backs of my die cuts. Once I had the foam squares on there, I do like to add a little bit of the Ultra Bond um, liquid adhesive from iCraft. I just find that that gives me the assurance to make sure that it's going to really hold onto a textured background. Since I added that glitz, uh, the snowflake stencil into the background, my background is textured and it's raised and it's bumpy. So I like to use liquid adhesive just to make sure that my pieces will hold. So here are all my tags. You can see all of the glittery goodness that are on these tags. I just love this holiday stamp and stencil set. I added some red twine. I just cut strips that are probably about six inches in length and then when you fold them and just kind of loop them through the tag there and I'll trim off any excess that I might have. I will in a second hold some of these up to the light so you can really check out the glitz and the shine. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, head over to my blog for the chance to win some gift cards and some prizes. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.